Hey there, welcome back to another video. This time it's a little bit something random. Um, I decided to just show off my collection so far of Star Wars Expanded Universe novels. I do not have nearly as many as other people do, but um, I have a decent... Well, I wouldn't even know if I'd say even decent. It's a nice small sample size, um, and I, I'm definitely open to getting more as soon as I read the ones that I have. I just got them because I want to get into reading again, and I used to read a lot when I was growing up, and I haven't been reading that much uh, lately. I have like a ton of books and stuff, and I haven't really gotten around to reading a lot of them, and it's a nice way for, for me to unwind and to do it in a way that doesn't involve me spending too much money, it doesn't involve spent me going to the uh, local buybacks or other places like that and just buying stuff. Um, and most of these I got for cheap or I got as gifts, uh, cause my parents actually got them for me when I went to a bookstore and, uh, picked them up. Now I first started off with the Thrawn trilogy because I, I remember reading it a long time ago and not minding it. And I wanted to remind myself of what a good, respectful Star Wars story was I wanted, I wanted to remind myself what good Star Wars stories were uh not uh Disney Star Wars stories which might as well just be called uh Disney's shitty Star Wars stories I I, I wanted to be reminded of Star Wars stories and sequels to the original trilogy uh, that were respectful to the source material uh that actually treated the characters from the original trilogy with respect and didn't do this bullshit let the past die because they wanted to be edgy or wanted to just get rid of the old guard so they can uh, make room for the new. Um, I wanted to, to see stories that didn't treat beloved characters like they were just uh, cannon fodder. Um, I wanted to see a story that showed Luke Skywalker become one of the greatest and grandest and most powerful Jedis in the galaxy. Not a old hermit who dies like a bitch and then fades away like dust in the fucking wind. I wanted to be remember I wanted to remind myself of uh Star Wars stories that did not involve that bullshit. Um and forgive me uh, for upsetting anybody or scaring anyone. It's just a trigger for me. The, the way The Last Jedi handled Luke Skywalker was just absolutely unacceptable. Uh, lazy, disrespectful, uncalled for, and um, the way that they treated him just frankly killed any excitement that I might have for any more Star Wars movies. They, uh, Disney and Lucasfilm lost my trust at that moment but anyway these are all books and stories that Disney is trying to retcon and act like never existed or they're saying they're no longer canon but Disney you can't erase you can't erase them because people can still have access to them and people could still read them um, so you're never gonna be able to erase them uh, as, as no matter how how hard you try they're still gonna be there um, and I decided to pick up this trilogy, and then I picked up a few other ones that were kind of spin-offs of it, and some stuff that I was kind of curious about uh, with uh, the Star Wars license. And I remember, like I said, I remember liking them. There are there are some flaws, but I mean, it seems to be a recent trend where it's just a, a cool hip thing to shit on the expanded universe. There's a popular video on YouTube that's trending where somebody's just picking apart one of the lesser novels and trying to act like that's a representation of how bad the expanded universe was uh, and trying to act like, well, this is worse than The Last Jedi or worse than uh, Solo or worse than these other movies. So, uh, therefore, Disney's Lucasfilm films are, are better than the, the, the expanded universe. That's just a really shallow, hollow argument, I'm sorry, because you're only looking at one bad book that does not represent the entire whole. 
But uh, maybe one of these days I might do some videos giving my thoughts on more in-depth thoughts on some of these books uh, in case anybody might be interested. Um, and also I think it would be a nice change of pace because like I said, it seems to be a current trend to just kind of shit on the expanding universe. But the thing is, even Disney themselves realize that there's a lot of good there because they are even borrowing elements from the EU. Uh, they have moved Thrawn into their exp their current universe. Uh, they have done other things and taken other aspects and other parts of those expanded universe stories and have brought them into uh, their new canon. So even they realized that they, they acted a bit hasty in uh, deleting everything and trying to just erase the entirety of the expanded universe. Um... But good luck telling that to some of the people who are diehard fans of Lucasfilm and uh, Disney's uh, version of Star Wars. But anyway, uh, let's get to the video, the meat, the crux of the video, and just show you these books. Uh, so here we have uh, Volume 1 of the Thrawn Trilogy, Heir to the Empire. And um, this takes place uh, five years after Return of the Jedi. Um, these, uh, this is the, at one time this was, this was an authorized continuation of the Star Wars original trilogy. So before the current Disney episodes, there was this series by Timothy Zahn, which was known as the Thrawn trilogy. And this is uh, volume two, Dark Force Rising. And uh, this is Volume 3, The Last Command. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there are some problems. I mean, a Luke a Luke Skywalker clone is one of them. But um, I, I remember not minding this series, and I definitely am looking forward to revisiting it uh, sometime soon. Also, I know I don't have any hardbacks. I'm more of a paperback guy. They take up less space, and I've just always been more of a paperback uh, individual. Um I think that's just how it is. Like, and I don't mind hardbacks if it's like a coffee table book, but when it comes to novels, I, I'm 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 more into paperbacks. Then you have what is essentially a sequel series to the Thrawn trilogy called the Jedi Academy trilogy. Uh, you, this is a volume one of this uh, trilogy, Jedi Search. Then uh, you have uh, volume two of the Jedi Academy trilogy. Dark Apprentice. Then we have uh, Champions of the Force, which is Volume 3 of the Jedi Academy Trilogy. I've heard mixed things about it, but, you know, I, I, I wanted to check it out because it's a direct sequel to the Thrawn Trilogy. Then you have Shadows of the Empire, which was a uh, tie-in to the video game, and it took place in between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Shadows of the Empire. Have a volume one of the Han Solo trilogy, the Paradise Snare. I guarantee this is going to be better than Solo. <laughs> I, I was going to see Solo, but my parents went and saw it without me. And I have no desire to watch it solo, so... Um, I'm going to wait to check it out and give it a shot when it comes out on home video. Um, I'd like to get the uh, second and third volumes of this trilogy. And then I got some uh, anthology, Star Wars anthology books. Um, I didn't know anything about these, I, I, and I think this is pretty cool, actually. Well, actually, no, there's another one. Dark Saber. Now, I've heard a lot of terrible things about this, but I got it because I kind of just want to... Uh, it's from the same offer of the Jedi Academy trilogy. I think it takes place after that. And um, it's got some crazy ridiculousness. Uh, and I've heard a lot of, you know, bad things about it, but I kind of want to read it just because of that. You know, it's one of those, like, I'm curious to see how bad it really is type thing, type of things, and it was cheap. But anyway, these are the anthology ones. So I love anthology stories, and I had no idea there was like uh, Star Wars anthologies. Um, so this is Star Wars Tales of the Bounty Hunters. 
and this is uh, just a bunch of collected stories, short stories uh, centered around bounty hunters like Dengar, Bosk. Uh, what's the f what the fuck is the b bug? I don't remember what the bug's name was. Um, I think there's two bugs or whatever. Yeah, the Bosk, of course, Boba Fett. Um, and uh, then there's Tales from the Empire, which is uh, more short stories uh, that were culled from the adventures of... They were culled from the Star Wars Adventure Journal, which is a magazine, I guess. And uh, there's also a short story in here uh, by Timothy... A short novel by Timothy Zahn and Michael A. Stackpole that's also in here uh, in Tales from the Empire. And then I also have Tales from the New Republic, which is more stories that were collected from, I believe, that magazine. And it includes a short novel by Timothy Zahn and Michael A. Stackpole as well. So, um, yeah, these are Star Wars anthology novels. I love anthology novels, just like I love anthology uh, movies. So, um, I'm definitely curious about these. And then one of these days I'd like to get the Boba Fett books because there actually are Boba Fett books that uh, that center around Boba Fett and the other bounty hunters and it gives more uh, depth to the character and, and gives him a lot more to do but anyway um, that's my current collection to date um, if I add any more I might show them in a vlog or something uh, the only other ones I have that I'm not showing here are the novelizations of the Star Wars films uh the original trilogy and episode one i don't have episode two or episode three or the force awakens or the last jedi uh i especially don't want the last jedi because I, I remember hearing I, I read a lot of shitty things about that novelization um but anyway um i really don't know what else to say except uh thank you for watching and yeah if any of these sound interesting to you and you're a fan of star wars and you haven't read them or or you're curious about them uh, I would recommend tracking them down, especially if you were not a fan of Disney's approach to uh, the Star Wars characters, uh, especially from the original trilogy. Um, th there might be some hit and miss moments. There probably will be, but uh, I would s strongly re recommend that you check them out for yourself before you just automatically just assume, like a lot of other people have, that they're just crap. And uh, that's why Disney uh, retconned them. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you later. See ya.